brisk out there this morning, wasn't it? Cold, yeah, <laughs> cold for sure. <laughs> when you walk out there and you see snow on the ground or whatever that is, frost, you get pretty nervous. But um, it turned out good. The sun came out and the field dried up, and so it, was, it ended up being a good practice. Is uh, spring progressing like you guys would hope from week one to week two? Yeah, um, like I've said before, um, this is probably the best, most competitive spring practice we've had, at least I've had since I've been here, with uh, guys staying healthy, guys being on the field, and guys wanting to compete for a spot. And so it's been very organized, very competitive, and I really appreciate that as a player um, and being a leader. It's, uh, it's really refreshing to see that. So um, that being said, I think things are going really well. I think things are progressing really well. I heard you talking about Taysom holding you accountable for getting better. <clears throat> what specifically are you talking about this year? You know, I just think... Uh, between me and him personally, I think it's one of those things where we always want to be better in everything that we do. We'll go play pig in a basketball court, we'll go play golf, and we're always competing. And he knows that. So he knows that I want to play at the next level, and he knows I want to play uh, and win every single game this year. So it's keeping me accountable in every part of my game. <laughs> Dropped the ball, um, wrong route. It's, it's keeping me accountable. And he knows I'm not going to get offended by anything he says and, and vice versa. So I just think it's that relationship we've built since, since we got home off our missions, and it's, it's worked really well. Take I was going to say, Taysom said that he, he thinks if there was a game on Saturday he could play. Is there any part of that that surprises you? No, it doesn't surprise me. I, I think it could happen for sure. Maybe an extra tape job on that left ankle, but I think he'd play just fine. So. Because there were so many injuries last year, is there anything that the coaches are doing different in spring practice? Um, yeah, I think uh, we're putting a lot more focus on uh, – less penalties in practice. And so as you've seen out there, there are refs there that are throwing flags that didn't happen before. And uh, we're being held accountable at practice. So if you get a flag, you're not practicing until they say you can come back. And so that goes to the fighting. If you fight, all practice stops. And uh, so that keeps us accountable um, with fighting, with penalties, and we're keeping guys on their feet. So if you knock a guy down when he shouldn't be on the ground, um, that adds injuries. Um, that adds whatever percentage that is, it adds the injuries to go up. So I think keeping guys on their feet Less penalties, less fighting will uh, keep guys healthy. Hey Mitch, I'm interested to hear you say that this spring ball has been the most competitive spring ball that you've been uh -huh. a part of. For sure. Will you just elaborate on that? What's making it so competitive out there? Um, I just think that we have the right leaders right now. We, our best players are our best leaders. And so I played in the 2009 season with Dennis Pitta, Max Hall, and those guys. And we went 11 and 2 and finished, I think, 12th in the country. Some of the best leaders I've ever played with. And I have that same feeling about the guys we have now, the seniors that we have now. Our best players are our best leaders, and everyone is, is very competitive guys. From me to Taysom to Bronson to all the other seniors, competitive guys. And um, we don't let anything slide, for sure. So I think it's the right leaders in the right place at the right time. It makes everything competitive. And then uh, I just think everyone's sick of going 8-5, and five, so, so there's something different. Has there been any change or anything you've noticed in terms of the coaching staff? Are they doing anything different this year? Or th are they handling things different? Not in particular, no. I just think they, they have noticed that we do have those leaders now. And so the more that you can put, more pressure you can put on the players, the more wins you'll have. That's what it comes down to. The more the coaches have to drag you and do everything for you and call people out and whatever it takes, the less games will win. Is, is if they coach, we lead, that's, that's how they'll that's get the, the most wins as possible. Thanks, Thanks Mitch. Thank you. Yep.